Hey guys, it's Alisa and I am here to unbox my last Oracle deck. Uh, this is the first copy, it just arrived from Make Playing Cards. And yeah, I want to share it with you and I want to unbox it together. So yeah, uh, thank you for being here and if you're new, thank you for stopping by and if you're a regular, thank you for being here. So let's open it up. And yeah, it comes only wrapped in uh, plastic and yeah, it's an oracle deck and it has 139 cards or something around that number. So yeah, it comes in this, it's well packaged, the cards look great with no damage on them. It's a thick card, it's a tarot size, so yeah. Let's move that out of the way. So, uh, it's titled Self-Exploration Oracle and it's created with uh, license-free images by Jasmine Beckett Griffith and I curated them with my own concepts. Now, just a second. I have to grab something that I forgot. So, as I was saying, this is a Oracle deck that it's, is star size and yeah, I used pre-existing artwork to fit with uh, the concepts that I wanted to have in an Oracle deck. Uh, how, the, how this came to be? Um, last year I decided to make myself a Oracle deck just for personal use. Uh, just uh, some little cards with words on them like defeat, doubt, limitation, shame, you get the idea. But I, the format that I am holding right now, it didn't work out for me. So, uh, so I, uh, when I learned that uh, the artwork by Jasmine Beckett Griffith was license free and everyone can use it to create their own deck. I decided to redo the whole thing and take those concepts from my little cards that I created for myself and put them uh, into an actual deck that I'll be using. So yeah, I'm a huge fan of Jasmine Beckett Griffith's artwork and I have two of her mass market oracles, the Le Vampire and Alice the Wonderland Oracle and I really enjoyed those two decks but I wanted to have my own and it's a junk like it's very thick so let's open it up I hope I don't screw the cards so It doesn't have a guidebook because the concepts that I put on the cards are universal and I wanted everyone to have their own interpretations and not to rely on my understanding of those concepts but to have their own. So, so now it's better. I've zoomed in and this is the first time I'm going to be looking through the cards and uh, let's check it out so uh, the first card is the title card and yeah the back side of the title card looks like this so yeah and this QR code will take you to my website so this is the self-exploration oracle let's dive in uh, the cards are not numbered and they just have keywords underneath and they're borderless. So this is the first one and the backs look like this. I really love that image and it wouldn't fit in the format of the front so I put it on the back side. So yeah. And I won't talk 
uh, during this flip through. It's uh, very well balanced. It has light and dark between the light and the darkness. But you see uh, for yourself. Oopsie. I'm sorry, the lighting uh, is not the best, but it's what it is. And the cardstock is standard uh, make plain cards cardstock. So far, I'm actually loving this, how it turned out. It turned out better than I expected, actually. <laughs> and I specifically chose each uh, of the artworks. And how I did that is I went to Jasmine's um, website and went through all of her available artwork. I selected around 300. And out of those 300, I uh, chose my cards, the ones that fit the best with the keywords. This cute little mermaid. I really like it. Look, it's focused. Self-love, this is one of my favorite images in the whole deck. Stability with the ship in this ball thingy. Curiosity, and this is Alice. Fairness. Commitment, respect, appreciation with the peace, appreciation for the beautiful things in life, kindness. Now, for example, this image appears in the Vampire Oracle, the mass market one. But, yeah, I just love the artwork in those. The, um, the most, uh, how to put it, recent artwork, because I'm not a huge fan of her earlier style. But I chose only the images that I saw as uh, more refined and, yeah, independence. Self-worth, care, strength, inspiration, love, security, that, self, that sense of security, purity, faith. We're moving to the more darker part of the deck now. Pride, revenge, resentment, arrogance, abuse, 
with the voodoo doll, rage, insecurity, hate, loss, attachment, and so on. Karma, we have karma in the Ouroboros cycle. Self-deception, judgment, guilt, denial, betrayal, masks, absence, detachment, powerlessness, criticism, and depression. And the scary man monster telling us, I saw that as our inner voices. Anxiety. Ask for help, clarity, injustice, inner voice, limitations, again with that fear and the trapped creature, disappointment, shame, discouragement, envy. Seeking approval and for this card I saw it as the snakes being all the voices in our heads and we seeking approval from ourselves and yeah I just thought it would fit confusion impatience inhibition materialism false beliefs, justification, ultimately I'm planning to use this deck mainly for shadow work but uh, if you decide it's something that you would like to get it's going to be available, it is available actually already on my store on make playing cards the link will be in the description box manipulation bypassing especially spiritual bypassing inertia pressure to hold everything together endings blame Nar nature versus nurture, regrets, gluttony, and the last one is scarcity. So yeah, this is my newest deck. It's very, very thick. So yeah, let's see how it shuffles. So let's see how it shuffles. It's very thick, as you see, but it's okay. It shuffles good. And yeah, it has 100 and around 140 cards, so it's expected to be chunkier. But yeah, it has a lot of concepts that I want it and I'm super super excited to work with it and I'm glad that I created it for myself.
so yeah if this is something of interest to you you can as i mentioned uh, check it in my store link is down below and yeah thank you again for being here and for watching and yeah please share your thoughts in the comment section and see you next time take care